Good day to you. Welcome to my channel. My name is Chelsea Tarno. One of the big questions I get asked is, how did you find out you had cancer? So today I will take you through that early beginning story as well as give you the inside scoop as to what four signs I believe I missed that could have led me to an earlier diagnosis. I've always been someone that is vigilant to go in and get my yearly checks with my regular doctor. That is until my doctor left town. Now it's kind of odd, but we have a shortage of doctors in our town. And the only way that I could get in for my yearly testing was to make an appointment with a walk-in clinic, which I did. But those appointments were very specific. And that did not include the full gambit of things that would normally include the breast exam. So feeling uncomfortable with that, about three years ago, I made an appointment specifically to have my breast checked by the doctor and I expressed my concerns that I wanted further screening. I don't know why, I just told her I would like further screening and she told me that I am too young to have breast cancer concerns and she sent me on my merry way. Since then, I had not been in the regular practice of doing breast exams because I didn't feel, based on her recommendation, that it was something that I needed to be worried about. It was about three years later, I was laying in bed with my husband, performing somewhat of a self-exam. I didn't really know what a self-exam meant. I was basically just getting to know my body and how it felt. And I was very surprised that I came across something that felt like something. So I asked my husband to confirm for me that I wasn't crazy and reluctantly he did and he confirmed. Now, I wasn't worried at this point. As I mentioned, I talked to the doctor just three short years earlier and she has had said that I had nothing to be worried about with breast cancer. I had also heard murmurs in our family that cystic breast tissue is common in our family, which can feel like lumps in the breast as well. So I just assumed that that was it. So I had made this discovery in late May of 2018. At the time, I was a full-time hairstylist trade teacher, and I worked about 40 minutes from town, which meant when I was off work and I was able to get back to town, the walk-in clinics were not taking any more appointments. And I'm an eternal optimist and I'm a hard worker. So I just didn't feel like it was pertinent for me to take time off work to check out this thing that was probably nothing. It just wasn't a priority for me. At the time, I was also training for a fitness photo shoot and I was literally in the best physical and mental shape of my life. I had been eating extremely clean preparing for this and I had been for the last two or three years of my life as well. So it just didn't make sense to me that I would have a disease or something to worry about that just couldn't be right. So I let a month pass until school was out and then my husband came back at me and he said, you know what, you should really make an appointment now to check that thing out. Still not worried, I obliged my husband's request and made an appointment to go to the walk-in clinic to see the doctor before we headed out of town. It was now July 5th. The doctor felt the lump and they asked where I was on my menstrual cycle because apparently the breasts swell and sometimes there's different things that swell within the breast tissue depending on where you are in your menstrual cycle. I guess I was in that magical time where that could happen. So I was asked to come back a week later um, to have it reassessed. They assured me that they were not worried at all, but it was just good to come back and check. So once again, I went on my merry way. I had the most amazing photo shoot, enjoyed the rest of my week and was not worried even in the slightest. I returned a week later to see a new doctor she felt the lump and though she wasn't concerned, she recommended I get an ultrasound just for peace of mind. And I'm all about getting tests if I'm allowed to because I love peace of mind. So I said, yes, let's do it. So the wait time was about two weeks. Two weeks and two days later, I was back in that same office, this time with the same doctor, but the tone had changed. 
doctor had said that the spot came up looking irregular on the ultrasound, but once again was hopeful that it was just a cyst or a calcification. But just to be sure, she recommended that I get a biopsy of the mass for peace of mind once again. Now, I had cause for concern when I then received a call only two days later to get in for my biopsy. All I could think about was cancer and how I was possibly looking a life-threatening disease in the face. Those four days I had to wait to receive the news felt like an eternity. The phone finally rang and it was my doctor. We were asked to get into the office as soon as we could. I sat there holding my husband's hand, my heart beating a million beats per minute, but my entire body holding its breath as we waited. We got the news. I was diagnosed with breast cancer. I have a lot more to share with you moving forward. So before we move on today, please hit subscribe so you don't miss out on anything. At the beginning of this video, I mentioned that there are four signs that I believe that I missed that had I realized what they were telling me, I could have found my cancer diagnosis sooner. Now, I am not saying that if you have any of these signs or symptoms that you have breast cancer. What I'm saying is this is my personal experience and I believe these signals was a way that my body was telling me, hey, there's something going on. You should have that checked out. First sign, the mass was getting larger. So if I had been familiar with how my body felt, I would have noticed that there was a mass in my body that was getting larger. Now, it was measured with an MRI and before chemotherapy at its largest, my tumor was five centimeters by five centimeters by two centimeters. That is the size of this stick of butter. So if you are familiar with how your body feels and something changes size, take note. Sign two. It felt like a hard piece of a regular gum. So people have asked me before, like, what did it feel like? It didn't feel like that smooth stick of butter that I was showing you or a nice round, like what I would pick a, picture a tumor to be like. It really did feel like it was pokey. It almost had sharp edges to it. So that could have been a very good tip to me that something was not right. Sign three. My periods were becoming extremely heavy and the cramping was almost enough that it would make me have to throw up. This was not normal for me. I mean, I had been having my menstrual cycle for about 18 years prior to this and it was just getting progressively worse and worse on a drastic scale for the last two years before my diagnosis. I don't know if it's directly related, but for me, looking back that was a really big sign that something different was happening in my body and i could have looked into it a little bit more sign four throbbing sharp pains i had been feeling these throbbing sharp pains in my breast i don't know how long but i didn't think anything of it it wasn't until i was diagnosed i put together two and two that those pains were exactly where the cancerous mass was. If I had paid attention to that and brought it to my doctor's attention that something weird was going on in my breast, we may have found it sooner. Once again, I just want to reiterate that these are my four signs that I believe my body was telling me, hey, pay attention, something is going on. So if you are experiencing these signs, I'm not saying that there's massive cause for concern. All I'm saying is it's worth paying attention to and perhaps worth bringing up with your doctor to have the discussion. As you can see, the sun is going down, so it's time for me to wrap up this video. But before that, I'm curious, did you have any signals or signs that something was going on in your body? If you did, I would love to hear them in the comments below. I feel the more awareness that we can get out, the better. 
sincerely hope that you found this video helpful. If you did, please hit subscribe so that you can catch the next one. Thank you so much for joining me again today. I look forward to connecting with you in the future. Take care.